If you notice today, by the way, the Iranians were laughing, literally laughing, at the idea of sanctions as they build nuclear weapons. So you have the president <clears throat> over here in a fantasy, and it's a fantasy. Uh, it sounds good. It would be wonderful. It just doesn't fit this particular planet. It, it, but and over here you have North Korea, Pakistan, Iran, Al-Qaeda, and a whole host of other potential enemies who are just methodically doing their thing. And I think the greatest danger is that we will end up confusing words with reality in a way that someday could get an awful lot of people killed. Do you have the same no, I think, fears? I, th I, I think if you were to say he is potentially the most dangerous uh, because he so completely misunderstands reality. Let me, let me give you a couple examples. He has recently gone out of his way to offend Karzai, who is the Afghan leader we're relying on. He's gone out of his way to be genuinely publicly nasty to Netanyahu, who is the Israeli ally we're relying on. So you get an embrace if you are Hugo Chavez. You get acceptance if you're Ahmadinejad in Iran. But if you're an American ally, somehow you're not acceptable.